A massive, fast-moving visitor to our solar system may have been a probe sent by an advanced alien civilization. Astronomers were excited to discover the interstellar object last year. It was named Oumuamua. In a discovery that's rewriting cosmic history, the James Webb Space Telescope has just captured the first real image of Oumuamua, the mysterious interstellar object that baffled scientists back in 2017. Not a simulation, not a theory. This time, it's real, and what it reveals will leave you stunned. James Webb just captured a real image of Oumuamua. In December 2025, Astronomers confirmed something that many had thought impossible. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, had captured what is now considered the first real image of Oumuamua, the mysterious interstellar object that sparked controversy back in 2017. This wasn't a simulation, an artistic rendering, or a guess based on light curves. This was direct infrared thermal imaging, pinpointing a fast-moving, tumbling object exactly where predictive models said Oumuamua might be. The detection stunned the scientific community. It was like finding a needle that had already left the haystack, one researcher at the Space Telescope Science Institute said. The Webb team had aimed its sensitive NIRCM at a patch of space aligned with Oumuamua's exit path. Against the darkness, they saw something long, cold, and reflective, matching both its velocity and predicted orientation. The object was roughly 200 to 400 meters long, tumbling end over end, just like models had predicted from its 2017 light patterns. And this is what makes it historic. For nearly eight years, we had no image, only indirect signs and speculation. But this time, thermal data, not theory, confirmed its presence. The return of Oumuamua wasn't expected. Most believed it was long gone, forever out of range. But now, thanks to Webb's infrared sensitivity, it's back in view. And the implications are huge. We always thought it was a one-time visitor, said Dr. Emil Carson from NASA. We didn't think we'd see it again, until Webb did. With this surprise sighting, scientists scrambled to understand how Oumuamua became visible again after all these years. Back from the void, how Oumuamua became visible again. Oumuamua was last seen in early 2018, racing out of the solar system at over 87,000 miles per hour. After that, it faded into the background of space, growing colder and dimmer with every passing month. Most astronomers had written it off as lost forever. But in late 2025, a new round of orbital simulations suggested a shocking possibility. If the object had experienced even slight gravitational perturbations, from Jupiter, solar wind, or deep space drag, it could have shifted just enough to remain within reach of Webb's field of view. A team led by Dr. Lin Yamada at the European Space Agency re-ran Oumuamua's projected orbit with more refined models. Their simulations showed a narrow window in which the object might reappear. Webb was programmed to scan that corridor. What it found was a match, not only in trajectory, but in speed and thermal profile. This wasn't just another icy rock. It was the same object that had caused such a stir eight years earlier. What made the detection possible was Webb's incredible infrared resolution. Even at distances where ground telescopes saw only darkness, Webb could pick up faint heat signatures. And that's exactly what it did. In just three exposures, the telescope registered a long, cool body moving across space, reflecting and emitting in the exact patterns expected. The scientific world was stunned. We thought it was gone, said Dr. Yamada. We never thought we'd get another look. Yet there it was, visible again, defying the odds. Now that Webb had its eyes on it, the next question was obvious. What did it actually see? What Webb saw? Details hidden for eight years. When JWST finally imaged Oumuamua, it uncovered details scientists had only theorized about back in 2017. The object appeared as a cigar-shaped body, estimated to be between 200 and 400 meters long, about the size of a city block. Its surface was cold but reflective, hinting at a metallic or icy crust. Webb's infrared instruments measured this directly, revealing a surface temperature colder than minus 260 degrees Fahrenheit, which ruled out many previous theories about its composition. 
Even more intriguing was what Webb didn't see. Once again, no outgassing was detected. There were no visible jets of vapor or gas that would explain the strange push Oumuamua experienced in 2017. Yet, its motion still couldn't be accounted for by gravity alone. This absence confirms that the object accelerates in ways that break from traditional comet or asteroid behavior. Spectral analysis also showed no signs of carbon-based molecules, the kind usually found on comets. That puts Oumuamua in a category of its own. It's not just different by origin, it's different by chemistry. Some scientists speculated it could be made of solid hydrogen ice or an exotic interstellar compound, frozen and preserved over millions of years. Finally, Webb confirmed the object's wild tumbling motion, rotating on multiple axes like a spinning coin mid-flip. This unstable spin may come from asymmetric heating or surface loss over time. Still, no evidence of craters, fragments, or structural weaknesses was seen. It's like it's hiding its secrets in plain sight, said Professor Lena Ortiz. Nothing about it fits our known categories. With these bizarre features back in focus, attention turned to the biggest question from 2017. Why did it speed up in the first place? The acceleration mystery. Still no engine, still no explanation. Oumuamua's sudden acceleration during its 2017 solar flyby remains one of astronomy's strangest puzzles, and Webb's new observations have only deepened it. As the object passed the sun, it sped up slightly, without any visible thrust, no gake jets, and no tail. For years, scientists tried to explain this with comet theories, but now, Webb's data has ruled most of them out. The telescope's ultra-sensitive MIRI instrument searched for heat signatures that would indicate sublimation when ices vaporize and push a comet forward, but it found nothing. No warm spots, no venting, just a cold, silent object speeding through space. One popular theory was that Oumuamua might be made of solid hydrogen ice, which could sublimate invisibly, but Webb detected no hydrogen vapor, weakening that idea. Another theory gained traction that Oumuamua is ultra-thin, perhaps just millimeters thick in some parts, allowing solar radiation pressure to act like wind on a sail. This would make it the first naturally occurring light sail ever found, or possibly an artificial one. Webb's data shows the object's surface is unusually smooth and highly reflective. That aligns with the light sail idea, but again, no propulsion, no energy source, no antennas or machinery were found. There's no engine, no heat, no explanation, said Dr. Caleb Finch from Caltech. It's moving, and we still don't know why. So far, every natural model has failed to explain the acceleration entirely. And that's why the idea of something non-natural, something designed, has returned to the table. Shape, structure, and shadows, what it might be. Webb's new observations confirmed one of the most unusual features of Oumuamua its extraordinary shape. The data showed an object potentially 10 times longer than it is wide, a form rarely seen in natural bodies. Most asteroids and comets are more spherical or irregular, but this one is long, narrow, and smooth. That elongated structure showed consistent thermal reflections, indicating a stable surface, possibly metallic or ice-coated rock. What's even stranger is what wasn't found around it. No dust cloud, no satellites, no visible fragments. It traveled entirely alone. High resolution scans also revealed no ring system or residual debris trail, which most objects of that speed and age would likely accumulate. That makes its isolation all the more eerie. Then came the biggest surprise. The surface reflectivity was inconsistent with common minerals in our solar system. Webb's instruments showed spectral anomalies, subtle but distinct, suggesting this object might be composed of something either very rare or completely unfamiliar. One working theory is that it's made from a compound formed outside our solar chemistry norms, possibly within an ancient planetary system destroyed long ago. Despite all this, scientists remain divided. Could this be a natural relic shaped by time and physics? Or is it something crafted, its materials and motion intended? It's the kind of shape we test in wind tunnels, said Dr. Reza Hamilton, an aerospace engineer. Not the kind we expect from nature. As debates reignited, so did an idea once dismissed as fringe, the alien probe hypothesis. Alien probe hypothesis still on the table? 
Back in 2018, physicist Avi Loeb made headlines by suggesting that Oumuamua might be artificial, possibly a defunct alien probe, or a fragment of interstellar technology. At the time, most astronomers rejected the idea, pointing to lack of evidence. But now, with new web data showing no conventional comet behavior, the conversation has shifted. There's no propulsion system, yet the object accelerates. There's no comet tail, yet it behaves unlike an asteroid. Its shape is aerodynamically efficient, and its surface is unusually smooth. Even the tumbling motion suggests it's not just a random rock, but something that's been through extreme conditions or engineered to survive them. Still, scientists are cautious. We need to resist jumping to conclusions, said planetary scientist Dr. Nia Valdez. Extraordinary claims need extraordinary proof, and that proof hasn't surfaced. No antenna, no emissions, no signal. Yet, Webb's data hasn't ruled it out either. Nothing in our catalogs looks like this. And the way it reflects light, the way it moves, the way it silently crossed our skies, all of it raises more questions than answers. Even skeptics admit that the probability of artificial origin, while low, can't be considered zero. And that's enough to keep the hypothesis alive in scientific discussion. It's unlike anything we've ever seen, Loeb reiterated in a recent interview, and that should make us wonder. Next, scientists turn to another theory. Maybe this wasn't a machine at all, but a fragment of something ancient and broken. Could it be a fragment, a relic from a dying star system? Another leading theory is that Oumuamua isn't a probe or a comet, but a fragment, a broken piece of something larger. Maybe the shard of a shattered planet, or the debris from a cosmic collision that happened far beyond our star system. Webb's spectral analysis supports this possibility. The telescope detected no complex molecules, no carbon-rich compounds, and no signs of the organic material typically found on comets. Some scientists believe this could mean Oumuamua was chemically stripped, perhaps blasted clean during a catastrophic planetary event, or worn smooth by millions of years drifting through interstellar dust and radiation. Its velocity gives another clue. It's moving at speeds consistent with an ejection event, possibly thrown out of a collapsing planetary system or ripped away by the intense gravity of a white dwarf. If that's true, Oumuamua may be older than our sun, a relic from another galaxy's ancient past, just now passing through ours. Another compelling clue comes from the object's exposure to cosmic rays. Webb's data suggests it's been bombarded for an incredibly long time far longer than anything that formed locally. This further hints that we're not just looking at something from another star, but from another era. It's like a fossil in space, said Dr. Rami Anwar, and we just found it floating by. While the debate continues about what it is, one thing became clear. No other observatory on Earth or in orbit could have seen this. Why Webb was the only telescope that could do this? Tracking an object like Oumuamua, fast, cold, and distant, requires technology unlike anything we've used before. The James Webb Space Telescope, positioned at Lagrange Point 2, is uniquely designed for this task. Its deep space vantage point offers a perfectly dark background and no atmospheric distortion, making it ideal for spotting faint infrared heat from objects that are practically invisible to other telescopes. Webb's instruments, particularly NIRSPEC and MIRI, can detect heat signatures from objects just a few tens of degrees above absolute zero. That's exactly the temperature range of something like Oumuamua, far from the sun, reflecting almost no light, and moving too fast to stay in a telescope's field of view for long. Ground-based observatories simply don't have the sensitivity or precision to track something like this once it's past Neptune. Most importantly, Webb has real-time imaging capability with extreme resolution. It can not only spot the object, it can study its rotation, surface chemistry, and heat distribution in a matter of minutes. That's what made this image different. It wasn't just a dot of light, but a measurable, analyzable structure. Webb didn't just see it, said Dr. Hannah Lee. It read its fingerprints in the dark. This moment proved just isn't just for distant galaxies. It's a tool for surprises. And now, astronomers are wondering, if Webb found Oumuamua again, what else is out there, waiting? Public confusion. Was this really Oumuamua or a different object? 
After Webb's image release, confusion spread across social media and even among amateur astronomers. Some people thought the object was 3i slash ATLAS, another interstellar visitor discovered in July 2025. That object, also imaged by Webb, shared similar traits, a hyperbolic trajectory and an unusual infrared signature. So, naturally, the internet exploded with headlines like, is this Oumuamua or something else? NASA and the Space Telescope Science Institute quickly stepped in to clear the air. They released detailed orbital comparisons showing that the new target matched Oumuamua's projected path from 2017, not Atlas. The object's velocity, approach vector, and light curve were completely different from 3i slash ATLAS. This was not a case of mistaken identity. It was a confirmed reappearance. The confusion was understandable. Both objects were fast, faint, and from beyond our solar system. But conflating the two undermines the scientific importance of what Webb just achieved. Oumuamua's reappearance wasn't just another comet sighting. It was a second chance at studying something utterly unique. When science goes viral, facts can get blurred, said Dr. Sonia Keller, a science communicator. But this was no mix-up. This was Oumuamua. The incident reminded astronomers how vital clear communication is, especially when the discoveries feel like science fiction. And with the truth clarified, attention shifted to what this means for future missions. The future. Now we know they can come back. Aumuamua's return has shattered one of the main assumptions in astronomy, that interstellar objects pass once and disappear forever. Now, thanks to Webb, we know that some might linger, loop back, or get caught in gravitational eddies that bring them into view again. That changes how we think about space entirely. Agencies like ESA and NASA are already adjusting course. Missions like the Comet Interceptor, set for launch in the late 2020s, are being retooled to intercept fast, unknown objects on short notice. Even more ambitious is NASA's proposed Interstellar Visitor Observatory, IVO, which may one day launch pre-positioned spacecraft capable of rapid pursuit. Webb's success has also renewed interest in setting up real-time detection networks, using AI and orbital modeling to flag unusual objects before they vanish. The goal? To make sure the next Oumuamua isn't missed or misunderstood. And if Oumuamua really is natural, then we've just unlocked a way to study how planetary systems collapse, collide, and spread their fragments across the galaxy. But if it's not natural, if it's artificial, then we've just taken the first clear picture of technology that didn't come from Earth. Whatever it is, said Dr. Caleb Finch, it changed how we see the sky. And now, astronomers are watching because this might not be the last time Oumuamua pays us a visit. For eight years, Oumuamua was a ghost, a mystery racing beyond our reach. But now, thanks to Webb's unmatched vision, we finally have a real image, and with it, real questions. Is it a natural relic from a distant system, or something built? One thing is certain, this is only the beginning. As Webb continues to peer into the dark, what else might it find? Because if we've just photographed our first interstellar visitor, we need to be ready for what comes next.